Hey guys, Russ here from Wilson Land and Cattle Company. Today we're going to be mixing seed for our lease property. If you would, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell to get weekly videos from us. Like, comment, share with a friend. And also new for us, we have a link in the description below to our new merchandise store. Check it out. We also have a link to some of the products that we're using here on the farm. We're gonna put a seed mix down there. We're gonna have annuals as well as perennials in there. The annuals is gonna act as a nurse crop and the perennials will take hold and we'll have them there next year. What we're gonna have in the seed mix is we will have sedan grass, forage sorghum, sorghum sudan grass cross, timothy, buckwheat, spring triticale, annual ryegrass, tall fescue, medium, and mammoth red clover. We're gonna have two seed mixes. We're gonna mix the Timothy with the, the clover. We're gonna put that in the small seed box of the Truex green drill that we use. We're gonna be doing a video on it, so keep an eye out for it. And then on the large seed box, which is the box on the back, we'll be putting the rest of the seeds, the larger seeds. The center box for that is made for fluffy seeds such as Indian grass, big blue stem, Virginia wild rye, it's a fluffy seed. It can take that down through there and not clog up. That's a pretty universal drill. Okay, let's go and look at the, the seed mixer. It's a 55 gallon drum with a one inch shaft through it, set on an offset. And then the, the shaft we have, a plate at each end welded onto the shaft because I don't have the equipment to weld to the, the 55 gallon drum and then we have it set on pillow block bearings as well as we just have a simple stand built basically to hold it up come over here I have it set up on a crank the crank handle is removable that way if I ever wanted to put a motor on it I could but it's I don't see it's really necessary you only make 10 or 12 revolutions with it your seeds mixed up very well this is the inside of this the seed mixer. I was gonna put baffles in it, but I, as well as it mixes, I really don't think we I need to put baffles in it. So I don't. And the door is a piece of stainless steel. I had it cut out at the tin shop. The neighbor has a tin shop, and I just had him cut that out because he had the equipment to do it. And then I put a piece of angle on it to to brace that as well as we have a piano hinge that helps keep those seeds in. And then we have two latches to hold the door shut. The latches are set on kind of like an offset and that's what holds them shut. There's one on this side. And you can see they're adjustable. You know, a bolt gets bent a little bit or something, you can adjust it. Okay, let's get the mix in here. We don't uh, we don't normally mix our cover crop seeds. We usually just put it in a grill, grain drill and hand mix it or blend it. Um, because if you get all of one seed in one area, it's not that big of a deal. There is an agitator in the, the grain drill um, to mix those seeds up. But being that we're putting permanent grasses in here, Whenever that seed hits the soil, I want those permanent grasses to be there as well. That way we don't have some areas on the, the fields that do not have the permanent grasses. So that's why we're mixing it. Um, I have a whole bunch of buckets here and stuff. And what I'll do is like the fescue, I'll, I'll divide that out into five. We're mixing for 10 acres. And each bucket will be two acres worth of seed. Oh. And I forgot, if you watched my corn planting video, I was telling you about the magic dust that the salesman sold me. This is it, it's called Rocket Seeds. It's seed nutrition and flow agent. So it has uh, graphite and talc in it, as well as it has phosphorus. It has phosphorus and I don't know, after I bought it, I'm like, you know, this is ridiculous because you put this scoop on 50 pounds of seed and that's supposed to make that seed germinate better and, and make it grow quicker. I don't know, it just, it's one of those snake oil deals, I think, but we're gonna find out. One thing I wanted to show you here, 
a lot of people struggle to get into seed feed bags or seed bags it's pretty simple actually if you know what you're doing okay you see how the stitch is double stitched there and we only have a single stitch here we put the double stitch on the on the left hand side we cut it okay and it comes right loose you know that goes for your dog food bags your cat food bags all, all the bags that have that double stitch on one side and have a single stitch on the other side. Seed bags or your feed bags open easier. That's fescue seed. Put the spring triticale in this. Maybe getting a little late to plant spring triticale, but we're gonna give it a go anyhow. I have to be careful what I plant at my rental farm because we get a lot of deer damage. And they'll just go in and wallow everything down and ruin the whole crop. So. Maybe a pound of the acre. Buckwheat is really good for bringing soil life back into the soil. This is probably some of the best buckwheat seed that I've ever seen. Boy, is it super clean and nice and shiny. So the annual ryegrass comes on quick and helps let those other plants establish. Forage sorghum. Let's mix her up. Bag it up. We've, these are going to be two acre bags. We're going to have five bags of seed. Close it up. This is how we store our, our pollinated corn when we're getting it ready to plant. Just a board with a bunch of nails in it, and that will plant one acre of corn. It isn't hard to spin. We forgot our magic dust. One scoop of magic dust. It's gonna make them seeds jump out of the ground in a day and a half and grow a foot a day. Yeah, right. We'll mix that in. A little bit of seed sticks in there because of the lip on the barrel. 
not something that I'm too worried about. Let's take a look at this. You've seen all the, all the more times that I turned that. Look how well that's mixed. Perfectly mixed. This will this will seed two acres. I'm gonna put them in one acre bags instead of two acre bags. Okay, to tie it a quick release, Miller's knot. Need a piece of string. You can use any kind of string basically. Need a piece about oh 18 inches long or so. You loop it around your finger. Okay. Pull your bag in tight. And you wrap your string around. One more time. And this is gonna be a quick release Miller's knot. You pull a loop back through where your finger was sticking through. Pull it up tight. Then whenever you wanna open the bag, just pull the tail end. It's good to go. Again, a loop on your finger. I always Grab that tag in with my little finger, pull our bag down tight, wrap it around. Okay, we'll go around twice, pull a loop back through where your finger was at, pull it up tight. That bag won't come open until you release that end. Hey guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you would, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Like and comment on the video. It helps us out in ratings. We also have a new merchandise store. We'll put a link to the, in the description for that, as well as I'll put a link in the description for some of the great products that we use here on the farm. We'll talk to you later. We'll see you in the next one.